Hello there, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create 3D shapes using the 3D Revolve tool in Adobe Illustrator. So the 3D tool is just that. It allows us to create a 3D shape from a 2D shape and then map some artwork to this 3D shape. So let's select the ellipse tool, left click and hold shift to draw a circle. And using the direct selection tool, just drag over this right anchor point and hit delete or backspace to remove it. You can press command or control Y to go into preview mode so you can see your lines. Just drag over these two anchor points here, top and bottom, and go to object, path and join, just to complete that shape. And you can select this shape and give it a color if you like. So let's just select a gray. So we now have a semicircle. With this selected, we can go to Effect, down to 3D, and select Revolve. And you'll see this dialog box appear, and we have a number of different options. Let's just tick the preview box so we can see any changes we make in action. Okay, so that looks a little bit strange. You can see here that it's revolving along the left edge, whereas if we change that to the right edge, you'll see that it revolves along that right edge and turns our two-dimensional semicircle into a 3D circle or sphere. We get a whole bunch of different settings here so we can choose the shading type, whether we have a wireframe, no shading, diffuse the shading or plastic shading. And you can adjust the light source as well just by dragging that little dot. So you can adjust the lighting and you can change things like light intensity, ambient light, highlight, highlight size, and the blend steps. And the blend steps, I think, is something that's quite important because at the moment you can see there's a lot of banding because it's blending the, the gray into the highlight color with only 25 steps. But if we increase this to, let's say, 100, it means there's a lot more range in terms of the color there. And it smooths out that gradient. So it goes from the shadows to the highlights a lot more smoothly. And we can also adjust the rotation here. So you can rotate your sphere around. With more complex shapes, this will have a lot more meaning, but because it is a sphere, it will look exactly the same depending on wherever you look at it from. The only thing that will change is the highlight. Actually, no, scratch that. The highlight does not change at all. I'm talking nonsense. So there we go. And you can adjust the perspective as well. And you can take this to the absolute extreme, but let's leave that at zero for now. So we've created our sphere. Now you can select this and go into the appearance palette and you can then either edit by clicking or just click the trash can in the bottom right corner to delete the 3D effect altogether. However, we're going to map some artwork to our sphere. So over to the right, I have a graphic here and I'm just going to drag over to select this, open up the symbols panel and just drag and drop this in. And I'm just going to give it a name of lines and change the export type to graphic. Click OK and you'll now see that this appears within your symbols library. And we can select our shape again and in the appearance panel, click 3D Revolve. Again, tick that preview box, and now we're going to click on Map Art. Now, if you have a more complex shape, you can scroll through the different surfaces within that shape, and it will highlight which surface is selected with this red wireframe. However, as we're working on a circle, a sphere, there is only one surface, and it is marked here already. However, what we can do now is click the drop down and the symbol that we placed called lines is now listed. And we can click that and it will add this in. And we can scale this up and move this around. And you'll see that because we have the preview box ticked, it will adjust in real time as well. Now, something else you can do is select shade artwork and it will apply your lighting effects to your artwork as well. So let's select that. And we can then click OK 
and you can see that it's applied the lighting effects to the artwork on our sphere. So we have our 3D sphere with our artwork and our shading applied. Although I can just notice down the left edge, there's this strange seam where the left and right side of our artwork actually meet. And it just looks a bit strange. It doesn't continue smoothly. So let's select our sphere and in the appearance palette, select 3D Revolve. Just tick the preview box so we can see our sphere and artwork shaded. And let's just move this round a little bit. Just adjust that rotation so that that seam where the two sides of the artwork touch is actually now behind the back of the sphere and out of the way. And there we go, that's how we can create 3D shapes using the 3D Revolve tool in Adobe Illustrator. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.